Hello, Blake. Hey, Len. How we doing? Bringing you some parts for these fast race cars. What did you bring me today? Rotor bolts, because you tried to put uh, rotors and hubs together, didn't have the bolts. Yeah, I did do uh, that. Different hood pin stuff, body stuff. We're getting her going pretty good. She'll be done maybe in time to go to practice. Hopefully, we at least get one test in. What's going on, YouTube? Landon Hubner back with another shop vlog. It is, what is today? Wednesday. It's Wednesday night here at Huffman Racing, and I'm going to give you guys an update. Uh, we're preparing our modified to get ready. Uh, it's Shamrock Motorsports modified. With the modified that we're going to be taking down to New Smyrna for World Series of Asphalt. Getting it ready, getting a seat in it, actually. So uh, I'll give you guys a rundown on it. Show you the updates on our Cars Tour car, which is uh, back here for uh, Jimmy Mooring, which is gonna be my primary car for the full car store season. So we're getting the body almost completely done on it, giving an update on that. And uh, I guess everything else that we've got going on here at the shop. So it's been super busy. Thank you guys for tuning in uh, to all these videos. I know I haven't been putting out a ton of them, but hopefully we have uh, some uh, cool announcements coming up very soon and a, a couple race day vlogs coming at you a little earlier than uh, we had planned. So thank you guys for being here, clicking on today's video. Let's go ahead and get into it. That's a nice ass gut. Yes, it is. You do, do you squat? I do all kinds of squats. Man, that's cool. Usually what you, over the toilet. What are you doing? What am I doing now? Yep. Trying to take your seat out to protect your little ass. Okay. <laughs> also, everybody, this is Mark. He's a newly recruited uh, volunteer. And uh, we don't pay him anything. So, Mark, thank you for being here. That ain't here. what I was told. <laughs> well, no. I don't know who... Who hired you? Who hired you? Glad to be here. He's paying you on his dime. So they're taking the seat out of Gilbert currently, and that is what we're going to put in this sexy beast over here. As you can see, we got the uh, roof off of it so we can set it down in it, but the actual driver compartment of the Modifieds are a lot narrower than what we deal with in the late mile stock stuff. So uh, a little bit more intricate to get it in there. But once we get the seat mounted, we'll be ready to go test at Caraway before we head to New Smyrna. One uh, one cool thing about the Modifieds is all of these body panels are all held together by these. They're not Zeus fasteners, but it's like a Zeus fastener. There's these little uh, fasteners that you take in and out with a screwdriver, a flathead. There's no crush panels. So it, it basically all just, you buy all these parts, I guess, already made from PSR and they go straight onto the chassis uh, without any fabrication, which is freaking awesome. We didn't have to do any of the fabrication stuff on it because it was already together, but if we were to build one or if we have to replace a part, super easy to work on. Blake, show them this uh, Pittman arm here on this baby. Well, as you can see, it says victory, but I don't think that thing's ever won a damn race. If it did, uh, it was a good while ago. Yeah, um, this thing's got a crack in it. Uh, probably about what Gutman was squatting earlier, about what his hind end looks like. So the center link, the Pittman arms almost pulled the bushings and shit out of the center link. But this car was the car that Jeremy Mayfield ran in the car store last year for Jimmy. It uh, was Jimmy's original car that he built but we just got the Ford engine out of it, which is our backup engine for the car store car. So uh, interesting uh, findings here on this thing. Hopefully he didn't race it that way. Hopefully that happened in the wreck, but- We just need JB Weld, it'll be fine. That's, a, that's a scary there. Like Blake was saying, he brought me uh, rotor bolts so I can go ahead and assemble my hubs and get them ready to go on Coco. But I am happy to say that we are working exclusively with PFC for all of our brakes, uh, brake fluid, calipers, all that good stuff moving forward here at Huffman Racing. Uh, so shout out to PFC Brakes for uh, everything they do for us. All of our pads and all that good stuff will come from PFC. So uh, exciting uh, new little partnership we've got there. And here is the progress on this thing. So we've almost got the body completely done. Dad's working on a piece to go right here. For fender braces and i gotta get some of these fender braces off of uh jimmy's other car that we're going to use for it but this is actually the first brand new body that we've ever had on a race car here at huffman racing uh on the gen 6 era i guess or since i started this youtube channel you've always seen me piece stuff together
Okay, for the first time ever, we've got brand new body parts. Got a new body and a new bit. Yeah, yeah, that bit's pretty good, Dad. Keep on digging on that thing. This is uh, interior. We got spec gauges and all that good stuff. Still my one of my old seats. This back here, I put it just like that. And it actually, and all my pedals and stuff and everything fit right. Okay. Nice and comfy. It does need some kind of little bit of a leg brace off of it. What do you think? She's gonna be wild. I ain't used to being able to see my left front tire like that. Or there, cleaner. Cockpit's definitely a lot narrower. Gut, they can't say that we didn't uh, do it the Huffman Racing way and use used shit on our new car because I'm putting these on there. I just got to paint them. We can't have a car in here without used shit on it. No, it would not be appropriate. Right, that's mandatory. Yeah, so these right here, I'm about to, I took them off of this thing. I'm going to paint them and that's going on the left front of Coco. Excellent. Beautiful. Oh, Astro. What'd you bring me? Papers. Man, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Did you come to work? Yes. Okay. All right, so obviously we're going to be taking the Modified down to New Smyrna for Speed Weeks, February 11th to the 16th, I believe, Monday through Friday. But I'm actually going to be racing two different times before that. Not out of this shop, but I will have two race day vlogs coming at you in the very near future. January 27th, I will be racing the CCI house car. So CCI Fabrication. That's uh, our CCI machine, uh, CCI racing, however you want to uh, call it, whatever you want to call it. The the guys that put the front and rear clip on Fido, I'll be driving their house car down at Caraway in the limited late mile division, uh, the limited portion of the winter heat, which is January 27th. I don't know if it's broadcast anywhere, but I'll have a race day vlog for you for that. And then I'll also be racing, which this news will be coming out here in the near future. I'll be driving uh, for Travis Bird in the icebreaker at florence so i'm gonna be driving travis's 81 car uh, travis has been a good family friend of mine and uh, he's got a reynolds racing chassis so i'm gonna go hop in it and try to help him uh, build his program a little bit and see if he can't get some rental stuff sold uh, for his deal so i'll be going to florence for the icebreaker and caraway for the winter heat all before new smyrna i tried to cut him i just had to bend that see this the way Looks like you're wasting time. You've I, think, I know it ain't going to be wide enough to probably pull the paper off and start over. How do you do oh. whatever that is? <laughs> yeah, there, there, yeah, I thought that end. might work. I don't think real men use manual pop rivet guns, but I guess real men must waste damn time. No. Because of the extra strength. <laughs> and they got to be good with their fingers, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's part of the new diet plan here, up and racing. I'm buying everybody these half gallons. In order to in order to drink one high rock vodka drink, you must drink half of this. I need to put this fuel cell together, but I first must finish pop riveting. I have one pop rivet left. And it's a bitch to get to. <laughs> and I have to drill it too. And I just... Astro, you're up. Astro's building a crush panel. <laughs> you need to show what they're doing. Here. Look, Gutman and Mark back there. I've heard them having a conversation for the last 35 minutes. Look at them. They're just staring at the modified, reminiscing. Red velvet wall. So I don't think I've ever put this on the vlog, but this is something that I've done literally since I started racing and we've still used them like for the last 12 years, but Astro's using some Robert Huffman uh, hero cards from 2005 as a uh, crush panel pattern. That goes to that bracket. You know? We're putting a fuel cell together. Yeah, we're tempted to. Thank you, Blake. You're welcome. Be careful. I'll try my damnedest. Thanks for taking RJ's place. <laughs> I don't take much. Okay. 
show you guys this real quick before we end the video but these are dad's championship trophies from the late model stock this is 1988 hickory and this one is tri county but we just got them polished a little bit so i'm trying to figure out a case to put those in or build me a shelf in here to, to put all of our updated trophies or our new trophies and then some of dad's stuff too that's a uh just an old school 89 late model stock trophy and that's rich's slim jims rich was not present tonight give you guys an update on this real quick we did get the seat in the modified so that's a good thing and then we'll have to put everything back together and uh get ready to go test first we got to carry it down to psr which is the uh, type of chassis it is PSR racing products and they're going to help us set it up the first time just so we kind of have an idea All right guys. Thank y'all. Uh, everything's off there Thank y'all so much for the support per usual appreciate y'all watching the uh, video and uh, remember January 27th Caraway Speedway the winter heat. I'll be driving for CCI That's a black 15 car, but it'll be the limited late model. Or I believe it's called charger division there so I'll be my first one of 2024. I'll have a race day vlog and then the uh, Florence 400, or not Florence 400, the Icebreaker. But at Florence, I'll be running that. And then we'll be at New Smyrna with the Modified. So a lot of stuff coming and uh, continue with these videos. Appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. We're out. Peace.